have a very deep question to ask y'all. Have you ever in your life seen a company more incompetent? It's like they're purposely trying to mess up and that every time they mess up, it's like they try and one it up. So patch four drops, everybody believes this is the patch, the big patch that one month into launch, what, what day is it? The 13th is gonna fix all the problems with the game, right? Oh my God. All right, so first of all, there was problems for a whole month, but now they're gonna be fixed, so it's all good. Not only did the biggest problems get ignored, one, one. Some stuff that was previously working started to break, two. How do we get to this point as a community? It just hurts, because I look around at every other game and I'm like, all right, see, there's problems with every game. No game is gonna be perfect, we know about that. But the BS we have to deal with here on NBA 2K is reaching new heights every single year. And the very sad part about that is that the game is super solid this year. Did y'all play the gameplay? When it's not bugging with frame drops, it feels smooth. And so unlike previous years, I don't think the gameplay is the issue. It's all the stuff around the gameplay. We're talking about microtransactions. We're talking about the, the frame drops, the poor servers, the fact that every single change that's being made is just to milk everybody for all the money they got. You would expect through all that spending, the game would be perfect. 2K would run into no issues whatsoever. Can you imagine if you bought the Legends Edition? Like, how, how would you be feeling right now? It's like a new disaster pops up every other week. It's amazing. So when the game launched, players are being deleted. And then people start to go crazy because the servers were bugging, right? There was frame drops all over the place. And guys, we have a third issue that's reaching monumental heights. Now, if you try and play Team Pro-Am, chances are, you lag out of the game. Or the game doesn't even start up as a whole. And then deep down, you just really want to play a basketball game that you enjoy. Isn't that crazy? All right, hold on. I legitimately have a theory. So there's a ton of frame drops. Unless you get a PS4 Pro because of the better hardware, if you're using regular PS4s or regular Xbox Ones, then you're gonna experience frame drops because there's such outdated hardware, it's tough to load everything in the 2K universe without it bugging out when you're playing games. So in my mind, I'm trying to think of reasons why 2K just doesn't create a shallow depth, right? So when you're in games, just blur everything else out, right? So we don't lag no more when we're in the game. If you blur everything else, there should be no frame drops whatsoever. But I was playing a game one time and it, it really dawned on me. I saw the Jordan logo on a billboard and I'm a sport management student. So I'm trained to every time I see a billboard, like right there in my mind, the first thing I think about is, I wonder how much they paid to get that billboard up there. So when I saw the Jordan logo on the playground, I thought, Jordan's paying for this. And if 2K blurred everything outside of the park, if they blurred all that unnecessary data in the distance to make your, your gaming experience more enjoyable, then they'd be losing out on the money and all the advertisements. You know they advertised that Paul George shoe last year, right, in 2K17. And they just do all that through, and how many people play the game? Over and over, that's, that's hundreds and thousands and millions of impressions almost every single day. So anyway, that's the theory I just thought of. I don't know if it's true at all. I just know that if something's on a billboard, someone's paying for it. I can't imagine 2K with all the microtransactions. Oh, I'm too white. I can't imagine with 2K with all the microtransactions isn't getting money for it. So I'm gonna give credit where it's due because they did fix a decent amount of stuff with this patch. They made catching passes in the corner more reliable after they took out the good corner stutter step animations from last year, of course. They resolved the prime accessory issue, but they created new issues where if you try and go to your closet after you bought something, sometimes it just doesn't show up. That's interesting. They redesigned the who to guard. Who, did, did y'all ask for that part? Controller settings now apply on the playground. That's okay, thank God. You don't want to change it every single time. They fixed escape dribbles that caused players to face away. But that should have been done at launch though. Direct passes won't interrupt posting up. So there's some solid fixes here. And you can now join the Prime Arena together with your team. Like you don't have to all go five, four, three, two, one, click X. And then if it doesn't work, you'll have to back out and try it all. You don't have to do that no more. You can hop into the Prime Arena by yourselves and all get in together and then not play a game because you can't even load into the games anymore. <laughs> what a compromise. <laughs> all right, I just want to remind you guys in the sake of positivity, the gameplay feels smooth. I feel like I have to do that because I'm going to lose my mind if I just sit here thinking about all the ways that this game royally messes up every single year. You know what the sad thing is? Is I was actually excited for Star Wars Battlefront 2. 
and then I saw all the deals with their microtransactions, and they took a page right out of 2K's book, because I'm not buying that game. Actually, low-key, like, yo, don't tell nobody, but... I might still buy it, yo. But I definitely am not buying microtransactions if I get the game. Isn't that a shame? I, up. Oh, I'm too white. Let me get that. There we go. I envision a world where trash players in real life like myself can play NBA 2K and feel like they can really hoop. I envision a world where there's no server issues. There's no frame drops. I can play with my friends. There's obviously gonna be problems with gameplay. It's never gonna be perfect, but I have a really enjoyable time regardless. All right, let's talk about some of the problems that weren't fixed. People can walk onto the court and start doing dances and messing around. And I'm like, yo, why is there 10 people on the court? That's not fixed. Catch and shoot leaning still exists. Can you explain why I catch and shoot as any build? And for whatever reason, my guy comes up on a leaning shot like he didn't. First time he touched a basketball in his life. The squad invites are still broken. We still can't skip cutscenes. The my career cutscenes are the YouTube equivalent to when somebody places those long unskippable ads on a video. There is no way I'm sitting through it. I'm just gonna refresh as many times as possible. I will tolerate the short unskippable ads or the skippable ads. Do not place the long ones. I am not watching a cutscene before your video. The one minute glitch is patched. So if you put your my career to one minute so you can make a little bit of VC, so, but nope. Nope, 2K's trying to farm you. For all the money you got, <laughs> you thought you was gonna scam them? 2K is gonna get their money, my guy. And created shoes, for whatever reason, are not showing up in your closet. Now, I don't care about that one, but I saw it on Twitter from iPod, so I trust iPod. Now, I just wanna say, regardless of all the issues, especially because I'm not playing a lot of Pro-Am now, so that doesn't affect me, I'm gonna get more into it, especially once all the issues are resolved. Ever since I switched on to my PS4 Pro, I'm enjoying the game. I don't enjoy the grind. The grind is mind-numbing. Nobody wants to work that hard to get some badges just so they can max out their player. And it's so refreshing. I've been seeing some people from different communities that play NBA 2K talking about it. NBA 2K18 is the biggest path most pathetic basketball game in the history of the industry it's a money grabbing makes me want to throw up all over my keyboard mess and just to get a refreshing point of view like we're not the crazy ones like i'm not wild for thinking that this is ridiculous the people come from other communities like yo this is out of control so inevitably patch five is on the way hopefully it fixes all the issues it's just so tiring. We gotta go through this all over again. Hi, right, I'm Gun Lee. I could talk about this for hours. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. Subscribe if you guys are new. I'm about to get too white. Let me deal with that. I'm gonna catch y'all later, man. I'm out. I'm back in Toronto later tonight, so I'm gonna be back on the grind. Y'all funny people in the comments keep talking about Asians just wear the same shirt. I recorded like five videos in the same day, bitch. I right, stop talking your smack. Anyway, I'm out. Peace.